hello guys and of course welcome back to yet another video while well, it's 2022 and it's february that's just of course for reference purposes in case if this video is no longer um, relevant as time goes by well today i want us to do something very simple i want us to use statistics how i want us to use statistics because we've always say that statistics are increases our chances of winning because gambling or rather this betting thing it's all about pure luck that's rule number one but we always increase our luck you know by using statistics we analyze and then we use stats because numbers don't lie right so i want us today to do a quick one by just going on on few matches i've already that's so far score and I've already went to my, I've already picked my 15 as you can see that these are my favorite teams my top 15 I will not bet all of these matches but I will bet some of these matches I want us to do um odds of nine or more I want us to come up with odds of nine from these teams so we can bet five and then when we got odd of nine then we stop so it depends on what are we gonna choose but we will be using statistics so we won't be uh, going any further or deep what 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 so we will just check the statistics that is available here on this app and choose it you know irregardless of whether um we don't feel like it you know we don't feel like it will happen but wait, let's choose it because the statistics is saying otherwise you know so let's just choose it we just you're not gonna put a lot of money because it's just a trial you can put 20 rand or maybe 30 bucks or even 10 rand because it's just a trial so if it's odds of nine you'll probably 10 rand and it's 90 bucks because it's just a trial you know of us using statistics so without wasting any further time let's go our first match is nice i will choose nice and then i will go in first things first let's check standings standings nice is way much better but let's check full standings Nice is much better than this team called Engas. And if you check the gap between these two teams, that's quite big. And if you check the gap of Engas and the team on the bottom, you'll see it's nine points and it's very little, which means Nis, I mean Engas is not that good. So if you check Engas and that Bodex, which is the last team there on the bottom, that gap is not too much, meaning Engas is not that good it's a struggling team so that's good we've got something let's go on matches now and go to head to head streaks to see the stats the statistics these teams are matched uh, according to their previous six meetings as you can see here just check here it says out of uh, six matches so out of six matches these two teams always produce five times they have been producing goals 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 more than three more than two goals you know every time they meet so which is a good things and then so that is statistics that we can use also we can use over 2.5 as a statistics we can bet that regardless of what are the odds you know what are the chances of it happening but let's go and check something else when these two meet this one always is without a clean sheet about five times of their meetings out of their six meetings these teams couldn't um i mean Nice, I mean, who's this? Angers always concede, you know? They couldn't keep a clean sheet against Nice. Five matches. So that's statistics, you know? The so statistics, maybe you can see um, there will be a goal by Nice. You can see home team goals at least over one because you know that they score. And then when they meet these guys, you see they didn't lose about five matches. So even betting a straight win is also another statistics it's shown here that they've won they didn't lose five matches so like they won those five matches so you can say plus throw because you can see that they didn't lose they only won three meaning the other two it's a draw out of their past six meetings let's see let's go to those and just to uh, verify something you can see here nice out of all their meetings it's six wins the for angers it's two wins and five draws and the odds are also favoring this so you can also go straight win if you want to because that's a good stats by looking at these previous meetings look at that 2-1 nice one three nil nice one three nil again nice one and then a draw of one one and then three one look at that three nil so these are the meetings that we're focusing on 
these one, two, three, four, five, six meetings, you can see that Nice have been beating these guys too much. And it's it was so unfortunate here that they didn't uh, concede, they didn't uh, produce to over 2.5 goals. Other than that, most of the time they produce over 2.5. So it's safe to play over 2.5 according to statistics. So that's it, guys. Let's go according to statistics and go to over 2.5. There's Nice. Let's look for totals. Look for totals. We're looking for totals. Where are they? Let's check additional totals. Over 2.5. There we go. Don't check over 2.5 and see that. Nah, man. Because other people like to bet things with low odds. For instance, like these things, you know, over 0 0.5. Look at the odds, 0 0.07. This is very likely to happen. It's very much uh, going to happen. I can't bet that. So when they put these now, they see over 2.5. Whoa, one. Nah, that is not going to happen. No. Let's not bet the odds now. Let's bet the statistics. It doesn't matter if it didn't happen, but we just want to see now what is the truth behind these statistics. What is their numbers? Our next match is Royal Antwerp versus KV Mechelink. That's from Belgium. Standings first. Let's see. Let's see KV Mechelink. The points of that team and the, pre uh, the team on the bottom is very big. The gap. Meaning KV Mechelink is not a walkover. It's a good team. And we can see the standings also. is no, It's not a bad team. You know, it's still a match in hand. It's definitely not a bad team. So let's go to matches. Head-to-head -head streak. Look at the head-to-head -head streak. When these two meet, they also produce goals. You can see there. Out of their previous six meetings, five times they've produced more than two goals. Three match, three goals and more. Three goals. Three goals or more. So it means it's something. It's a statistics. Then we can choose that. Or we can choose another statistics is this. When these two meet out of their five previous meetings, Royal Antwerp always score first. That's a statistics. We can also choose that. It's here. You know? Let's see. And just to confirm something, look at the head-to-head -head of these teams. It means these teams are more or less equal. And we, that we've seen that even on the on the standings. Even though standings are not a real, um, you know, a true reflection of things. But you can see that. Look at this. Look at this. 4-4. Four, 1. Four, they won 4. They won 4. They drew 1. These teams are more or less equal. Even on the, on the odds. The odds are not that big. The difference is not that big. Let's see. KV Mechelen. They've won their previous meeting. Look at this. They won. Look at this, Real Antwerp 1, Real Antwerp 1. So it's a it's a matter of, you know, so goals. Let's go to goals. Or you can also say first to score. Both team to score? No, not this. We actually want to go to Real Antwerp. Now we're done with Nice. So we use using stats just like that. We don't even waste time or analyze too much. We just want to see how good are the stats, how good are the numbers. Pro League in Belgium. And then Royal Antwerp versus KV Mechelen. There we go. Where is over 2.5? Let's see. Additional totals. Over 2.5. There we go. We've chosen it. It's there on statistics. It's not us. It's there on statistics. Next match. Sevilla versus Espanyol. When you check Sevilla versus Espanyol, who's the best? We've seen Sevilla there. It's... Let's check full standings. Sevilla is number two, challenging for the league. As you can see, they have a match in hand. They are challenging for the league. That's something that you need to keep in mind. Who is their opponent? Espanyol. Check the standings. Check the standings of Espanyol and check. It's Espanyol is not doing good. It's doing good according uh, when you're betting with, with other team. But look at the bottom team or rather the second bottom team. Look at the second bottom team. 20 points and 28 points. Oh, that's not too much. It means it's not doing good at all. So comparing with stats, uh, according to stats, let's see. Go straight to head-to-head. -to -head. No losses for Sevilla when they meet this team. Seven matches. They didn't lose. But let's see. Doesn't mean that they won all. Probably others, it's true. We will see. Without clean sheet, nine matches when they meet Sevilla, these guys. Whew, that's quite a lot. This Guys always concede, so Sevilla is definitely gonna score there. Let's see. Sevilla always score first. That's another statistics. So out of these three stats, let's just double check something, confirm something. Matings 14, 3, 3 draws. That's obvious. 
Let's see these matches. Sevilla with a red card. Ooh, there's another statistics here. This red card, red card, red card, red card, red card. Oof, but what are the chances that there will be a red card? I don't know. But you've, we've seen red cards on these matches. Look at this, it's red. So if you want to take chances, you can also bet. That's another statistics, even though it's not too much. Look at that, Sevilla, two goals. Sevilla, two goals. It's a draw. Sevilla, won. Sevilla won. Sevilla, 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 Sevilla. So this team, Espanol, will concede that definitely. And let's just check another statistics there. First to score. Sevilla will score first. So let's go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. We're going to say Sevilla will score first. Let's go to soccer and choose Spain and choose Sevilla. Where is Sevilla Premier League? Let's go. There's Sevilla. Sevilla to score first. Where is first to score? Sevilla. There we go. We've chosen. Sevilla must score first. And then let's go to another match. What are the odds? We've said we want eight. I mean nine. What are the odds? We're sitting on five. Okay. Here we go. We're probably going to choose our last team now. Or maybe two more teams. Let's go. Uh, let's see what we can choose. We don't. Uh, we not always have to choose this team or that team. Let's just see. See Club Rouge. We can choose Club Rouge and use Club Rouge. As I've said, this is my top fifteen. I can choose from that. Mm, Club Rouge. Look at Club Rouge standings. It's good. Look at that. Sitting on number three. You know, also challenging for the league with a match in hand. Even though the league is a little bit gone. Uh, let's see. Yupen. What do you call this team? Yupen. Mm, Yupen is not quite a good team because I'm looking at the second bottom team, which is 23. So they are on relegation zone, if you look at it. They are on risk there. Because look, that's too much. So let's go to matches. It's a weak team, we can see. But let's go head to head. No losses when they meet this nine times. Without clean sheet, they always concede, okay, in three occasions. More than 2.5 goals. There's a nice statistic there. Out of 10 matches, 9 times when these teams meet, they always score more than 2.5 goals. That's the stats. And out of 6 times, first to score is Club Rouge. Let's confirm something. Another head-to-head. -head. Club Rouge won 9, drew 3, and war and 1. Yupen won 1. So let's just check. This is the draw. 2-2. Club Rouge with a red card there, but still they managed to win. You know, 3 0, 4 0. Look at that. 4 0, 5 0. Oh, so that over 2.5 can work. So let's go to Belgium again. So let's go to Belgium again. Soccer and select over 2.5. Or first to score Club Rouge. We've said that also. It's on the stats. We're using statistics simple. We're not making this thing difficult by by struggling to choose a team and all of that we're looking for club rouge where is it now there we go club rouge no this is not the one it's club rouge versus uh what is this team versus upen yes it's club rouge versus upen where is this match why i can't find this match here oh my god i can't find this match oh there we go it's club rouge there we go. Let's see. Additional totals. We want to see over 2.5 as you can see. Or first to score. Let's see which one must we choose. First to score. You can say club bridge. You can see the odds. So let's say over 2.5. Hope for goals in this match. There we go. Let's see the odds. Where are we sitting at? Currently sitting on 6. There we go. We're done. We've got our 9 odds. Then it's time to put our money in. Let me check how much I have. I'll put 42 rand. Let me just put that 42 rand. 42 rand, 06 cents. I'm done. So we've used statistics, guys. And then we're going to bet this match. But now I want to see the results. We will probably see the results later on. What's going to happen uh, when we use statistics to bet. We, 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 you've seen guys, we didn't do anything difficult here. I was betting with you and that's according to stats. If we lost, then it's statistics disappointed. Then we'll try again using stats. Then let's bet. Boom. 
submitted gone we just have to wait and see now i'm left with 100 friends i'll probably choose another bed now according to stats but now that one i'm not gonna do it on the video but uh yeah we will see the results guys later on hopefully we win i don't know but statistics suggest that we will win there we go